This is CPM Calculus Chapter 3, Number 65. Find the equation of a function that has vertical asymptotes at x equals negative 3 and x equals to 5, a hole at x equals to 0, and a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 2. Sketch the function. Okay, so vertical asymptotes at x equals to negative 3 and x equals to 5, that means our function, let's call it f of x, right? It has to have, it has to be undefined at x equals to negative 3 and x equals to negative 5. And that means in the denominator, we want to have x plus 3, right? Because if we plug in negative 3 there, that makes it 0 in the denominator. x minus 5, because if we plug in 5 there, it makes it 0 in the denominator. Okay, a hole at x equals to 0. So what that means is we also want it to be making x minus 0 or just x in the denominator, right? And that will make it a vertical asymptote. But we also want x in the numerator, right? Because at 0, it's going to be undefined. But if we're able to simplify this and cancel out that x, then it's just a hole and not an asymptote, okay? And a horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 2. So this one's a little bit trickier because remember horizontal asymptotes is where we take the limit as x approaches infinity of our function and we want that to equal 2. Or you could take it the limit as x approaches negative infinity of f of x and that equals to 2. So that's going to make a horizontal asymptote at 2. Either one of those or both of them being true. Okay? So <clears throat> we've done the vertical asymptote, this vertical asymptote, the hole at x equals to 0. So how do we find the horizontal asymptote at y is equal to 2? Well, how do we do this? Well, if we plug in infinity, remember we're going to get infinity in the numerator and infinity times infinity times infinity, right? These are going to cancel and we're going to get 1 over infinity. Well, that's not going to approach 2. So we want to cancel out these other x's, remember, because in the denominator, so far, let me use a different color. In the denominator here, we have the power, the highest power is x cubed, right? x cubed. So if we have x cubed in the numerator as well, let's just put x cubed, and let me put it in red, right? Right now, if we have this being true, x cubed in the numerator and denominator, then the limit as x approaches infinity of our function is just going to be, well, 1 over 1, the coefficient in front of the x cubed, right? And if we fact, if we um, distribute this, it's going to be x cubed times, I mean, plus other, th other things, okay? So it's going to be that coefficient. And we want it 2, right? So to make it 2, we can make, a, we could just put a 2 right here. Right, And then it's going to make this true. And this one true actually as well, because if we approach a negative infinity, well, um, that's just going to make, actually that's going to make it negative 2 there. Right? Because negative infinity cubed um, over negative infinity cubed, well, those infinities cancel each other out pretty much, but the negative will stay. Right? Actually, the negative over the negative will, will cancel each other out, so that's still going to be positive too. Okay, so another, like, this is the one, um, this is one example. We could also make it, I don't know, anything where um, we have 2 as the ratio. So this could be, like, 6 over 3, right, because these are going to cancel out, and this right here is going to make it, um, um, 6 over 3 is going to make it basically have, 2 as the limit approaches infinity. Another thing we could do, let me go ahead and undo some things, is we could multiply um, x here times x plus 1 and x plus 5, as long as we don't cancel these out, because if we, if we make it so these cancel out, right, if we simplify, then this asymptote becomes a whole. Just like the x is a whole, um, these cancel out so it's a whole. So you could do anything really in the numerator except put 
these two things exactly there because that would cancel them out. Okay, so let's go ahead. Um, let's make it simple. We have just x cubed and we have two times that to make this true, right? And so let's sketch this. So sketching this, um, we know that at x equals to negative 3, we have a vertical asymptote. At x equals to 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, we also have a vertical asymptote. As x approaches infinity and negative infinity, our function is approaching 2, right? So as we go to the left, there's going to be horizontal asymptote here and all the way out here, right? It's going to be doing something like this. Right, it's never going to cross that. Um, also here, it's going to be doing something like this, right? A hole at x equals to zero. So here, um, whatever it does here, maybe it's, it has a hole like this, right? So this is something like what the graph can look like, okay? And this ends CPM Calculus Chapter 3, number 65.